Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the continuing adventures of Baldrick Higginbottom at Hogwarts. I'm Dervell with uh, Mad Ferret Studios. And uh, let's check out the Gryffindor common room. Here we go. Peeves! Peeves is here! Where's the common room? Fuck it! It's Peeves! Come back here, you bastard! Where are you? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so awesome. Why didn't they have him in the in the movies? Okay, it's not there. Where are we going? Now, which way is the common room? Oh, cool. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Ladies. Oh, wow. They didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. Can't imagine starting a new school this late. Oh, this is so cool. Still not working. Ugh. As you were? Crescenda. Crescenda? Crescidia. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. I am Baldrick Hickenbottom. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I... Yeah, I can never agree with that. I studied with him. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into <gasps> his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Hmm. I remember in the in the books, like Harry, Harry couldn't do non-verbal spells. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. And, and there is the problem with having to pick your own name. It's, it's, I'm trying to remember the last game I played. <sighs> Fuck, I can't think of it. But yeah, it's in games like, like Fable where, you know, everyone just calls you hero or hey you or that guy. I guess Mass Effect was kind of like that where you, uh. I don't think she can get away with anything. I don't want to get do with anything. Day. You have a first name, but everyone just calls you Shepherd. This is why I don't think Transfiguration has always come easy to me. I suppose someone. I would really like someone to try it. Oh, another Weasley. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. 
Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Mm. Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Aww. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. It's also probably because she doesn't want to be seen as uh, being a favorite to her nephew. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. So what kind of Weasley are you? Are you a Charlie or are you a Fred? Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. What did I just eat? Oh, I miss mixed nuts that I'm mixing all over the floor. I'm making a lot of work for the house elves. I should feel bad about this. Oh, they disappear. Okay, I'm fine with it then. I asked him to cart a chew to me in Transfiguration, but he refused. I'm a lost cause. Are you Robespierre? What are you doing in an English school? Soldier? Oh, cool, a gramophone. Oh, that's a nice tune. Oh, wow, the tapestry's on the wall. She gets bolder every year. Down. Oh, the infamous fireplace. Let's talk to Nelly. Oh! <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. Your robe's on fire. <laughs> well, hello. Okay. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside. Without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? <laughs> it is true. But I... Uh, we handled it very well. I'll say. <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness. Anyway... You've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. Yeah, a bit of a dragon attack is nothing Baldur kicking bottom can't take care of. I don't know why I went all hick. <laughs> I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle... 
and everything lurking in and outside the grounds. You don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Thank you, Leander. Oh, this is so cool. Are you are you about to get sick? I think that's called an astrolabe. The doctor's away. Oh, there's a snitch in here. Oh, there it is. Oh, where? damn you, student! I lost it. Oh, wait, wait. Ah. <laughs> oh, that sucks so much. There's not a Quidditch match in here. Though, if the developers are listening, a possible DLC in the future? Maybe? Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Oh no, multiplayer mode. Here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, wow. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. And encourage you to explore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I'd say that's a bug, but I mean, that could be just a magic feather. Aha! The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it. And we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. This portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, famed for his brain elixir, and an example of what happens when the incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Oh, so combat doesn't give you XP. Interesting. That is a smart decision. 
So you can't go out and just farm XP just from doing combat. You actually have to explore. Oh, okay, you can get more gear from doing channel drawers. Okay, that's awesome. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Oh, hello, little kitty. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Oh. She If my if my sister or my brothers are watching, uh doesn't that look like patches? That looks like patches we had when we were kids. Oh. I miss patches. She's a good old cat. Galleons, sickles, and nuts. Is it, is it nuts or knuts? Yeah, I'm ah, nuts for asking. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Whoa, this is huge. South Wing and Gryffindor Common Room located next to the Hospital Wing which is good so there's the Great Hall the library kind of wish this was optimized a little bit better to where the flu was instantaneous but yeah Big games with big maps sometimes need a little bit of help with the uh, loading screens. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Ooh. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Hmm. He did ask us to keep it secret. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. 
almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Uh oh. Speak of the devil, and Professor he shall Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh, oh awful spell yes. this morning. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank so what's you. Professor Fig the teacher of? Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from <laughs> Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. It's pretty cool they're going to give you an, an express path in Hogwarts. It makes me wonder what happened to this this kid where he got uh he got overlooked. Okay, so we learn Levioso if lower section of the astronomy wing if I get lost. Use the charmed compass, okay. Some quests are locked by spell or level requirements, okay. What do you think? Charms class? Or DA class? Let's go to Charms first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. Ollivander's alive when now? I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Really, Ollivander's alive in this time? If that's the same Ollivander, he is not human. Oh, that is cool. Oh, come on. I can never get peeves on camera. I will catch you. I will find you!
<gasps> Sir Cat again? Oh, that's a deep dive. Oh, this is... This is so cool. Now Peeves, I think, is stalking me. That life is behind me! I promise! <laughs> Get going up and up and up. Professor Howard's going to quiz us Professor on Brandon tends to go oh. on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Kelpian Island Some of us summer. don't necessarily want him to get back into the lesson. He sounds like an awesome teacher. Powers should be kept in the oldest pure blood families, like the blacks. Wouldn't want riffraff running things. That's what my mother says. Ah, oh, the Slytherins. <laughs> Oh, I always hated here. this part of a new school. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Oh, you're from Africa. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Or French, Have possibly? Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? Oh uh, my god, I love this guy. Of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Oh, he doesn't have any of his books. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Wow. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Accio. Let's try to get this in the right spot first. Oh, God, this is fiddly. Accio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I love this professor. You can only dream of having teachers like that that are so full of energy. They make you excited to learn what they want to teach you. Loading screens suck. <laughs> God damn. I miss The Witcher where it was just like everything was just like already loaded all the time. Ah. 
I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> oh, cool! Oh, we're gonna play a game! <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Eh? Um, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles Accio, you are summoning them to... That's it! Oh, too far. To the best of us. Very good. Ah, uh, too far. Splendid. Well, it didn't fall off. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us do this. Oh, she's going to kick my ass. Yes! Akio. That's it! Here we go! That is how it's done. Fuck! <laughs> Stay focused! Shot. Oh, oh, does that mean I get more points? There we go. It does mean I get more points. I'm still going to lose badly. <laughs> Maybe if I can knock her one of her balls off. Akio! You're still much better than I am. I just, <laughs> just good luck. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh, <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Oh. Sorry, Natasha. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Phew. Akio. No! Oh. Oh. Too much. Can do too much. Happens to the best of us. This is how it's done. Ah! <laughs> Do not be discouraged. Be yes! I have one chance. <laughs> Akio. Well, I got points on the board. 
excellent control there. Very good, both of you. Well done. This is fun. I, I kind of hope that all the spells are done like that, where they're all unlocked with uh, with mini games. I was kind of curious when this game came out. I was like, how are they going to do the school part with it actually not being like school? Because uh, I don't know how many of you watching are out of Fast high school. Gather your things on the way out. Most of us don't want to go back. <laughs> well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu yeah, just she is my African. Year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Oh, okay, Before she's one of the professors. Met, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Oh, that sounds cool. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. I'm making friends already. You can use a word Akio if you would. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise. You then. wanted to speak you with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? <laughs> Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. God, extra homework outside of class. That sounds like a nightmare. Oh, it's level two. Is it Levioso or Leviosa? I can't remember. All right, see you later, Professor. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Oh. Revelio. Oh, wow, there's a lot of spells. Thank you. 
Aristo Momentum Glacius. Levioso Flippendo. <laughs> Descendo Depulso Confringo. Avada Kedavra? You can actually do the in, in Unforgivable Curses? Okay, so those are... You always have these. Basic Cast. Revelio. Protego. Stupefy. Oh, looks like you get others. Petrificus Totalis, Elohomora, hmm. God, this place is so cool. So yeah, I wonder if this character was like a muggle and they just happened to find out he's magic? Oh, classical music. What's this? Revelio. Ooh, what do we do now? Yeah, maybe a spell I don't know yet. Oh, oh, I know this story. Rebellion. There's a, a story in the book, <clears throat> like a witch who repeatedly got captured by the. Uh, by the Salem Witch Trials or the Inquisition or whatever and put a tickling spell on herself. I should think there's an entire ward in St. Mungo's for transfiguration accidents. This is the most British thing I have seen. <laughs> oh, cool. Rhinoceros? I don't like that. be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Oh, whoa.
Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> I like the training dummy. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Well, he has a shield. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised Levioso. Good. Now, well done. I ain't no dummy. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Time to kick his Slytherin ass. Levioso. Good form. I know. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Protego. Protego. Okay, Steve. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing up there? I do enjoy life. Let me also. If only all of my students were this adept. Oh, I just need to knock him off. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. <clears throat> Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Grindelows? Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. This poor... All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. This poor kid, his first day of class, he's already got tons of homework. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. <laughs> the ladies are lining up already. <laughs> if you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you. Not the other way around. Your voice is so dorky, I want to punch myself in the face. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. You have a very cool name. Imelda Reyes. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just uh... have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. 
perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Luke and Brattleby. Till next time. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. You have the voice of an old man. There's a treasure chest here somewhere. Revelio. Oh, flu power. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, thank you, Ignatia. Do... Okay, I don't do anything to light that up, I guess. Revelio. Ah. What are you looking at? Mm, not that one. Accio. Levioso. Uh, I know. Blind him. Lumos. Alright, I don't have the spell I need for that one yet. I'm not tracking anything. Let's go meet Professor Weasley. Huh. Interesting, the uh, Gryffindor house always teaches... or teaches... Oh, wow! Down boy. I guess the Gryffindor uh, teacher always teaches transfiguration. Ooh. Revelio. This painting depicts a young orphan wizard, Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors. And the dark wizard... Oh, fuck. Raxidian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. <laughs> oh, can't get that one. Oh, I wonder when our first course in Transfiguration will be. Oh, that's cool. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. <laughs> mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, I I you must that continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Oh no, more homework. <laughs> Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. 
You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. I go with the fellow Gryffindor for now. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. <coughs> Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Now, I haven't had, uh, speak to Professor Ronan about your first assignment. Oh, we get Reparo. Okay. Cool. Yeah, let's do that one now. I haven't had the, the butter beer that is at Universal Studios. Uh, I have, however, made, uh, real butter beer. It's like a really old English recipe. You take like a a dark a good dark beer and you fold in uh I don't really know how to explain it. They they would take like a a mixture of uh, uh butter, eggs, sugar and spices and kind of make it into kind of kind of like a loose custard. But you would mix that in with the warmed beer. And we tried it one year for, for Yule. Oh my god, it was good. It's rich. Very rich, though. It's like it's almost richer than eggnog. All right, let's talk to Professor Rowan. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Repero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. <laughs> okay, so find the pages.
This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Accio! Got it. Okay, just need to find the other one. Oh, it's up a level. Oh, it's in the dark dark arts room. Come on. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. That's easy. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. Not at all. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand oh, is a whoa. conduit of your magic. Mending charm. Repair can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of environment. Oh, okay. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Uh-oh. Repair it. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> wow. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you like stumble on something to in a frame. that solves the mystery. Uh. Revelio. Lumos. Oh! That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. So by a staircase, in what looks like to be a pod person. I wouldn't bother yourself about that. Oh, cool. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Statue with an ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction. 
That's a horrible name. A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. <laughs> oh, what's this? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. My aunt has no way. How do I return the moth to the painting? Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Oh. The moth! I should have seen that! Well, she's gonna beat her so combat regalia? You level up quite quick in this. I wonder what animal I'd be if I was an animal. Sorry, I'm getting lost in the uh just how cool the castle is. Soldier! You are on duty. Oh. Revelio. The Pied Piper of Hamlish. Yeah. Madame Kagawa is certainly strict. I thought flying was supposed to be fun. What was that noise? <laughs> Oh, that's the fat fryer. And on that note, I think I'll end the episode here. I, I'm loving this game so far. This has been so much fun. This was so worth the wait. All right, so uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everybody next time. Peace out.